Hello? Okay. I don't know why, but every time this computer like restarts, it turns off my volume for streaming. It's very frustrating. Hi guys! But you can hear me now, right? I know you're about to tell me that you can't hear me, but hopefully you should be able to hear me because I can see my volume moving. Okay, I'm just going to take off this nail polish I have on right now. I have on Please Pack Your Knives and Go, but we need bare nails so we can swatch. So this is the Moonshine Manu Back to Reality dot 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 TV part two collection. So of course it's not really back to reality, but it's back to reality TV. Hi early birds, Tika, Michelle, Kayla, Connie, Quila, Lisa, Bianca, Marjan, and Tika says we can hear now. Fantastic. Hi Nicole. Yay, yay, yay. I don't know why my computer does that, but I mean, who knows? Yeah, you can hear me good. Okay, so getting some cleaned off nails here. So this is what you're looking at in front of you. I included the Project Dupit on that thumbnail as well. So that's everything that's coming available this Friday at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So we're gonna swatch first the May Project Dupit, which is that bottom corner blue. And that polish is inspired by this lovely lady, OPI Absolutely Alice. Oop, let's get it turned around there. So when I go to pick which polishes to make for each month's Project Dupe It, I am referring to the Facebook um, there's a post there. It's in the announcement section where you can go suggest polishes that you want duped. If you guys haven't visited the post in a little while, will you do me a favor and revisit it and thumbs up the ones that you want to see? Because it's been, you know, over a year now since I've been doing this and there's a number of them that we've already crossed off our list. And, um, so the ones that have been most highly requested, I've done. Hi, Anuka. You are just chilling it on night shift thanks for joining us so if you could go um revisit that if you guys wouldn't mind some point thumbs up the ones that haven't been done yet if you recognize which ones have been done and haven't been done and just give me some feedback now that we you know we're over a year later give me some more feedback about what you want to see made and you might see new suggestions at the bottom of the feed man my hair's getting long guys Every time I go in, she's like, well, I've only been in two, two other times past the time when she cut it. But, um, when I go in, she's like, are we trimming it? I'm like, nope, no, we're not. Because I like to just chop it off and then grow it out and then chop it off and then grow it out because I get tired of it when it's really long, but when it's really short, I can't put it up as easily and I don't enjoy how easy it is to just throw on top of my head. <laughs> okay, sorry, I'm rambling while I clean my nails off, but they're clean now. So, um, we're gonna start with the, let me make this smaller. I should do Flamingo Fuchsia. That's a cute idea, Kayla. We could be twinsies. Um, so, I went in searches for this color of micro glitter. I found the exact size. I half, I think that mine is slightly more teal, but it's very similar. So it's a light, or it's a very small micro glitter, 0.004 size from what I measured under my magnifying glass of like an ocean blue. Uh, metallic glitter and then in the original bottle from OPI which came out in the first Alice in Wonderland themed collection is a gold micro glitter the same size as the blue so in mine I just wanted to kick it up a notch a little bit and use holographic glitters as you can see if I make it blurry you can see that it's holographic a little bit better and that is a varied size I like to use often a mix that has 0.4 and 0.8 
So some of the glitters are slightly larger, but it's just a teeny tiny, tiny bit. But I give, I find that it gives like a really nice appearance. So that is what we're going to swatch first. This is called You Can Call Me Al. I like to name my Project Dupits after songs. And this is named after, um, does this look like not as bright today or something? Let me see what's going on here. Um, I like to name them after songs and this is named after the Paul Simon song. Um, no, it says it's turned up. Okay. So, oh well. Anyway, um, it's named after the Paul Simon song, You Can Call Me Al. So this polish is You Can Call Me Alice. And here is the image. You can see in the top right corner, I'm holding the Moonshine Manny bottle and the OPI bottle. I don't know if you can tell which nail has which polish, but it looks pretty darn similar if I do say so myself. I'll just tell you. <laughs> the Moonshine Manny is on my pointer finger and my ring finger, and OPI is on my third, my middle finger and my pinky. So it's a very, very, very close dupe. I think that the glitter that I chose is slightly more teal leaning, just slightly, but can you tell from the picture? You probably can't tell. So hopefully if you're a person who asked for that, hopefully you enjoy that. If you aren't able to find OPI Absolutely Alice at a good price point for you, um, this is now a permanent polish in my collection. So this is a micro glitter bomb and um, there's actually another polish in this collection that has the same formula. So this is meant to build up. Obviously, you're not going to wear it like this, how you see it at one coat. But you're going to let that dry and do two to three coats. And what you get is a nice um, density of your glitters. You get a complexity of the look on your nail and it looks really, really good. So. Absolutely Alice is from the 2010 Tim Burton Alice in Wonderland inspired collection. Thank you, Kayla. I know the video is so fun, right, Sarah? Now you can think of that every time you hear the name of this polish. <laughs> Hi, Kate. Hey, tinyfingers.nailart. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You know what, Tika? It's, it's similar in color to Department of Mysteries. However, not similar at all in formula. But... Ironically, coincidentally, there is a polish in this collection that is like Department of Mysteries, and we will get to it in a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna let that dry. The one coat of You Can Call Me Alice. Let's get into the Back to Reality TV collection. We're gonna go in alphabetical order, starting with the RuPaul's Drag Race inspired um, polish. I all of the all of the shows that I picked this time, I'm like mad in love with. I it's been a few years since I did the last reality TV collection and I was a fan of this show back then as well I don't know why it didn't make first cut but I need a new swatching paper I've got a little droplets of paint on here in any case I love RuPaul's Drag Race I can't seem to find a place online to watch past the last season that I watched live and I'm like behind and I'm so so sad so we're starting with, if you can't love yourself, all of the polishes in this collection, instead of being named after the show name, like the first collection was, they're all named after catchphrases that you hear frequently on the show, whether by the host or by characters on the show. So if you like Mike and Bezaquil, this is in the same formula. This is also the same size micro glitter as coincidentally is in our Project Dupe. It's a 0 .004. It's a really beautiful jade holographic glitter. And I'm just going to get a little bit of excess off the side there. There was only a little bit on the one side to make sure we have it build up nicely. And um, so yeah, this one is just a pure dense micro glitter in the same formula as Mike and Bezaquil from the... Last Man on Earth collection. So, aw, Tika. I love that polish too. I think we're gonna have different polishes this year though. So, speaking of Department of Mysteries. So, in case you're new, the polish, I think it's come back two times or is it three times for July PPU? It's a Harry Potter book five inspired polish called the Department of Mysteries. Well, I'm not allowed to actually sell that polish on my website. I've made something similar for this collection though, since it's such a beloved polish. So it has the same base color. 
It has the same iridescent flakies and um, holographic glitters in there. It's a linear hollow, just like the Department of Mysteries, but as you can see, I've added this really beautiful pink to gold shimmer. And it is so fun and so, so pretty. Let me pop the picture up. What am I doing with my life? Just kidding. Let's pop the picture up here. So this is inspired by another one of my fave, fave, Flava fave, faves. Not Flava Flav, although we could have done that show too. Um, Top Chef. I love Top Chef. And I actually haven't even started watching Oregon yet because I forgot to tell my DirecTV to record it. I'm still making my way through um, a few of like, I've seen all of the first 10, like 10 seasons and then like the most recent seasons and there's still some seasons in the middle that I haven't watched yet. So I'm busy with uh, watching those. But So this is Please Pack Your Knives and Go, which is uttered by Padma in every single episode, sometimes twice. Please pack your knives and go. So that is the... Uh, second polish in the collection. You guys love Top Chef. I love Top Chef. Okay, next up we have a polish inspired by the Real Housewives franchise. So my favorite of all of them is the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Um, that is because I have a major girl crush on Erica. No, actually, there's probably m multiple reasons why I like Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. It takes place in California which is where I'm from. That's probably another one of the reasons. But um, some of the characters on this on this specific part of the, the show, um, this series, some of them are very powerful women, and they feel empowering to me. And Erica Jane is one of the characters, or, well, her name, that's her, uh, her stage name. But in any case, I like this series. And um, this name of this polish is the pursuit of wealthiness which is not a catchphrase on the show but it is part of the title of the very first episode of real housewives of beverly hills um and i thought it was very fitting for like all of the shows of this franchise the pursuit of wealthiness because i mean come on so this is a beige crelly and it is sheer because i wanted those um holographic flakies to really be the star of the show and not get covered up by too opaque of a base. It also means that if you would like to, you have layering options here. So you could wear this as a really gorgeous, just one coat, just kiss of color across your nails. It's almost like a top coat. This does have a slightly tinted base. As you can see, when I build it up, it looks beige. So I'm not saying this is a top coat. However, if you wanted to wear it like this, like almost like a clear nail polish with beautiful hollow, like really, really delicate chic hollow in there, um, you could totally do that as well. And so obviously that's why I created this polish this way because these women, I'm thinking, what's the primary color that these women wear? Probably like beige or clear. Look at the picture of the the show last season i mean they're like basically all wearing beige and a few of them are wearing rose actually that's not last season because lisa wasn't in it last season i'm gonna put something over my thumb and see what happens if we um put this on as a topper because i'm just curious i actually didn't wear it as a topper before i only wore it like built up one two or three coats but I'm curious at how much it's going to disguise the polish underneath. So we'll, we'll take a look at that in a little bit. Hi, Femke. Oh, Kate, are you a um, reality TV junkie like me? So it actually was super fitting that um, this collection, I had it planned for may and the polish pickup theme ended up being guilty pleasures because i almost just did reality tv as my theme for guilty pleasures so it was really kind of a, a toss-up but i was looking for more of a color direction to go with my polish i know a lot of the times brands don't they go for like a more like a more of an idea rather than like an actual thing but I like to really be inspired directly by the thing that's 
like that I'm in, being inspired by. So if it has like a color or a mood or whatever. Anyway, that was two coats of You Can Call Me Alice. Um, I, I think I just did two coats for the images there. So you can totally just leave it at two coats if you like to. And second coat of If You Can't Love Yourself. The whole quote was just too long. <laughs> Speaking of long names for polishes. Oh, my Minecraft polish name is so long. Okay. That's not till June though. Okay, so there's two coats of If You Can't Love Yourself. If you wanted to, you could do a third. You probably don't need to. I guess it depends on how heavy you went on the first coat. And let's move over to Top Chef. Please pack your knives and go. Please pack your knives and go. Mannequin Hands Manny! Yes! So if you like Department of Mystery, this basically just kicks it up a notch. It's definitely not as somber as the theme of the Department of Mystery polish. So it doesn't really fit for that polish because the strong pink made it really playful. But if you just can't get enough of the Department of Mysteries, then that's a good one for you. Oh, let me switch over. Let's switch over. Okay. Here's a second coat of the Pursuit of Wealthiness. And I like it really good at two coats too. I like it really good. I like it a lot. And, but that is three coats in my images up there pictured. So there are the first four things we're going to swatch. We're going to swatch four more things. This one goes down here. You got to get back in order, little polishes. Okay, so one second. I'm going to take this off. Hi, Victoria. Ooh, yeah, Kayla. It's slightly blue leaning, so if it's like a blue spruce <laughs> on the um, the jade color. Do you have a purple in the formula? If you can't, no, I don't, Bianca. Do I need one? I will be on the hunt for the perfect glitter for that. Hi, Dream of Polish. Thanks for joining us today. How's your Wednesday going, everybody? Okay. Almost. Almost clean nails again. Lincoln's itching me itching for me to take him to town. We're gonna make a quick Walgreens run here in just a second when I'm done. But he had he had to have Tuesday and Wednesday off of school this week and he's been he's been a little disrupted by that schedule change. His one-on-one -on -one had to call in sick on Tuesday or maybe one of her kids were sick. I'm not sure. So he never has school on Wednesdays, but not having it school back-to-back -back days is a little hard for him. Okay, next up, we're going to do another one, which I have no idea why I wasn't in my part one, but it's Dancing with the Stars. This is probably, besides the challenge, probably one of the old, like the longest running uh, reality shows that I've watched. The challenge is like the longest running cr competition show or something like that. It's, it's been going on for so long. Um, MTV is the challenge, but 
I've watched this show for so long. So Dancing with the Stars, this, this polish is called The Winners and New Champions are, because of course they say that every season when they crown a new winner. So this polish is a play on the polish that we made together in our Swatch Fest Mix Along. And uh, that's called Dark Crystal. So it's a black base. Basically, I, I took the idea of that polish and kicked it up a notch again. So I added a whole mix of holographic glitters in here on top of the black base with the strong fuchsia to pink to gold to it has like a slight touch of green on the edge, just barely. But so this is dark crystal, but kicked up a notch. Okay, then we have one of my most recent new finds, and this is The Masked Singer, of course. This has only been on TV for like two years, but it's in its fourth season, I think. Fourth or fifth, because it has like two to three um, seasons every year. So this is Who Are You, and this one I wanted to make the most fun and silly and playful because that's my favorite thing about the show. I love the singing, but I also love the costumes, and I love the surprise element. Every week you get a surprise because you get somebody unmasked and you get to find out who has been the person singing um, all these weeks that you've been watching and wondering, who the heck is this? So... Um, this is a white base Crelly, and then I have a fun, funky mix of some navy, some apple green, light blue, and purple glitters in here. And I just did two coats up there. Sorry for the dark macro. I don't know what my iPhone is having a really hard time anytime I take a picture of a white polish anymore. It won't focus, and it darkens up the thing so much. I don't know what's happening, iPhone. So anyway, this is Who Are You? Because they, that, they say that every week, but also it's in like the theme song that starts. I know it's on today, Bianca. I'm trying not to get too excited just in case they like give me some weird recap episode again. I was so seriously disappointed that day. That was a major bummer. Hi, Schnauzer mom. Hey, Axis of Anarchy. Check out the original South Korean version. It's not as a lover's. That's so, he competed or to complete or to compete. He competed on that show. Does he sing? <laughs> That's so funny. I've often thought of watching it, but then I thought, well, half of the fun might not be there for me because if I don't know the contestants, then is it really going to be that exciting when they're unmasked, you know? Is there anybody that, um, I know Sarah, she has to win, has to win. Um, oh, what did I miss? Sparkling said something about musicals. Sparkling. Oh, for your next musicals, you're considering a collection of classic. Yes, I am. Oh, yes, I am. We'll have to talk more about that later. Um, okay, so the last polish before we get to the bonus add-on is for Ink Master. And this is a show that I've been watching with Tim for years. We love this show. So this is a deep olive multi cream, and this actually has the black to red multi uh, multi chrome shimmer in here, but it all it runs through red copper gold, and the black isn't really like a metallic luster of this polish when you add it to a different color. So as a multi cream, the main color shifts that you see in the deep olive are red, gold, and green. So you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master, but you do not have what it takes. <laughs> so a little, a little negative on the title on this polish, but I feel like it's in keeping with kind of the vibe of the show. So I wanted that flare of the red to be real strong. So I decided to make this one slightly more of a builder. So go for two or three coats. And what's gonna happen is that uh, multi-chrome shimmer will stack and since the base is a slightly bit looser it gives the shimmer a space to breathe and then you can really see that shimmer glow so the bonus add-on is one of another one of my most recent finds 
probably the most recent because I think I was watching Masked Singer before this and that is alone and I am obsessed with this show. Uh, I'm so obsessed. If you haven't watched it, I highly recommend. I learned about it from you guys. Um, so this is a show that's like kind of like Survivor, but way more intense because they purposely set them up in a place where they could literally like freeze to death if they don't know what they're doing. And obviously they have a lot more clothes than the characters on Survivor do, but there's no like competitions and there's no like backstabbing. Um, you know, really it's just about like how long can you last in complete you know, in this wilderness where you're having a struggle to survive, but also just being completely alone. And I love it. I love it so much because, I mean, I just have mad respect for these people who, <laughs> I think it's the part in me that's also really stubborn, but they're just like, I'm just going to hang on no matter what. Um, so this is another polish that is reminiscent of a polish pickup polish. This is similar to Take Nothing for Granted. It has a similarly colored gray base. It also has the same green to gold um, multi-chrome flakies that are in there, but instead of, um, a variety of neutral glitters that ran through cream and, um, browns and everything in this one for alone, I stuck with like wintry black gray shades. So it is similar. It also has some shimmer, whereas I believe take nothing for granted just had the multi-chrome flakies that were giving that green pull. Um, but so this is similar to that if you liked that vibe. Let's go back through here and do a second coat of the winners and new champions are... This one is a really, really fun polish, you guys. Um, it's so sparkly. It's so colorful. It feels to me exactly like the show. Like it feels like pizzazz. It feels like I'm on stage performing... I've got my costume on, my super flashy, glittery sequined costume on. I used to be in show choir, can you tell? <laughs> but I love the addition of the fuchsia pink gold shimmer in this. It's so, so beautiful. So, it's really fun. So, if you like Dark Crystal, it's very similar, but like kicked up a notch with all the hollow glitters. Then back to the mass Singer. So as far as the mass Dancer, I did not find that I enjoyed that show as much. Um, reason being, they couldn't get as awesome with the costumes because they had to have costumes that were easy to dance in and that were safe to dance in. And I just, it took away one of my favorite parts of the show, you know, I always look forward to see like what they're going to come out looking as. So, I mean, can you imagine the Russian or the Russian stacking dolls being on that show? It wouldn't work because you can't dance in that, but it's so perfect for the mass singer because likely they are hiding two characters in one. If you haven't watched this season yet, you should um, go hop onto Hulu and catch up before we get to the finale. Is the, the finale is not this night, right? It's um, I'm trying to look for where I'm at. It's in maybe two weeks. I'm not sure. A giant mean girls collection. Okay, going back in for a second coat of you do not have what it takes. I'm also really excited for a new season of this show to come out. I feel like the producers probably think, okay, what could we do new that we haven't done before? But, um, sorry, I'm just thinking about how you can't really see the red in there from this stationary overhead light. So definitely just refer to these images. The red is very prevalent, just not under a stationary light source. Um, but that's how it looks at two coats. So it's totally doable at two coats. I just wanted to see if I could kick up the flare even more. I did a third coat. I think you can stop at two coats as you can see, but up to you what you want to do. And then the bonus add-on, did I say, in case you're new with my collections for the first 48 hours of launch, I include this bonus add-on for free with your collection. When you purchase the whole collection, you get seven pieces for the price of the whole collection, which is already discounted 10% mm -hmm. 
but you get seven instead of six if you want to purchase during the first 48 hours. So that goes through Sunday morning. This Sunday morning at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And um, yeah, if you want a freebie, that would be the time to do it. So that one also um, gets pretty decent coverage at the two coats. I did three just, I guess, for funsies. Maybe I didn't even do three. That actually looks like I did just two. So anyway, there you have the last ones. And let me pop up this picture. So here we go. Here they all are. So this will be available Friday, 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. That might be a good time to pick up another um, D stash bag if you were somebody that was interested I think by Friday um, everybody who wanted to shop has probably shopped by then if you wanted to snag another one I think there's like under 30 left though so you know up to you um, hopefully you guys like what you got like I said I had everything pre-wrapped a couple people did go ahead and ask me um, to only give them certain colors but everything was already pre-wrapped so if you get stuff and you're bummed by colors, I'm, I apologize, but I did make it, you know, I state, I stated that I wasn't going to be able to honor color and brand requests because it was already all pre-packed. So I only remember Val as I fell out of watching. Hi, Birdie. Gabby Douglas won the masked dancer. Was it? That's right. I was so excited about that. She was so, so good. Quila, yes, I am. I don't have them in front of me. Um, so Latasha was actually posting you pictures of the Agatha Christie Queen of Crime Part 2 collection, but that's the June collection. And um, I think that she wanted to just kind of like give sneak peeks of the new label, which I appreciated you guys being able to see what that's going to look like. Basically, it... It was time for a rebranding. It fit my bottle a little bit better. I actually learned some sad news, though. <laughs> my bottle is being discontinued again, but not likely for at least another year. <laughs> I should at least have my bottle till this next Christmas, like into this new next new year. So probably changing bottles by 2020, 2022, which I'm just like... If I don't ever want that to happen to me again, I have to switch to the round bottles that everybody uses, and I just don't want to. I like having a little bit of a fun feel to the polish when you use it and having it be just like all the other ones. It makes a lot of rational sense to use the, the bottle that's like always available. But it's just not as fun and artistic to me, so that's why I haven't done that. So anyway... Yes, our new um, our new label will be rolling out not with these polishes, um, but with the Facebook exclusive and um, MSM comeback coming the fourth Friday of the month. So it will be this month, but not with these polishes. Actually, Connie, <laughs> this is our third bottle. This beautiful size that I love that's basically a Zoya bottle in reverse. I don't know if you ever noticed that. It's basically Zoya's bottle in reverse. But this is my third bottle. So it will be my fourth bottle. Sing Off was my jam and I kind of loved finding pentatonics before they really took off. Ah, oh, yeah, Axis of Anarchy. I knew that they were from that show, but I definitely found them after that because of like a friend on Facebook recommended it to me. I know, that's what I'm hoping, Birdie. Lisa, thank you. <laughs> you always say the sweetest things, Lisa. All right, friends. Well, that's going to be it for today. So I will see you back on Friday for the launch of these new polishes. And I hope you found something in here that you like. And, um... Do you watch any of these shows? Are any of these some, these some of your faves? Um, let's see. It's been like two years since part one. So it'll probably be another minute before we do part two. That gives me two more years to find more shows that I love. <laughs> Hi, Sierra. How's it going? Um, 
The Sing Off, I went for Ben Folds and super loved that show. Ben Folds, yes. They had actually like really good, talented judges on that show, huh? All right, well, guys, thanks for joining me for today. Lincoln and I are going to go load up in the car and see what kind of trouble we can get into. I'm tr <laughs> trying to give him a little outing. Maybe I'll take him on a hike. He's just going to be like, Mom, you're the worst. Um, but anyway, you don't watch TV, but you, oh, Michelle, thank you. Now, okay, so I am so deep down my Louise Penny rabbit hole, you guys. I feel like it would totally be appropriate for me to do a collection based on her books. Because <laughs> I'm into like, I think I'm on to book eight now. So any of my Louise Penny peeps, are you guys here in this group today? But gosh, if I'm not listening to, if I'm not watching TV, which lately I am not, even though I... I watched The Circle really quickly. I'm listening to these audiobooks that just have me totally captivated by this world. Have a special great evening. Thank you, Lisa. I hope you do too. Tika, me too. All right, friends. I'll see you back tomorrow. Um, let's see. I also have some errands that I have to run tomorrow. But do you guys want to see the Essie Gel Couture Wedding Collection or the ILNP um wedding collection basically <laughs> the gel couture uh wedding 2021 i think is just called that um ever after is the name of the ilnp collection do you guys have a preference preferencia okay These are reality TV shows. Hi, Isabel. Um, the This is the Back to the Reality TV Part 2 collection. Oh, oh, you're talking about the books. Isabel, do you want to read some books with me? Uh, Louise Penny is the author, and she writes these detective stories. Um, it's set in mostly in, in this tiny little village in, um, is it Quebec? It's all in Canada. Bye, Sarah. Um, where is the book I'm reading right now? This is the one I'm on right now. Oop. So, How the Light Gets In is the one I'm on right now. And the, the inspector's name is Inspector Gamash, and that's the author. And um, it took me a little bit to get into the first one, but then I found that I loved the author's sense of humor. Love, love, love. Thank you, Axis of Anarchy. You guys are like mostly half and half there. I see you guys want SE and ILMP. Actually, most of you are saying ILMP. All right. Well, thanks for the feedback. Um, Lois Lowry books with the kids. No, I haven't yet. I haven't. Oh, that's sweet. Bye, Victoria. That sounds really sweet, Kristen. Thank you. Well, Isabel, read one and then let me know what you think. She does have some swearing in the books, by the way, but there's nothing, there's like no, no lewd content at all, but there is swearing in case that's something that bothers anybody. All right. Dice roll. <laughs> Thanks, Bertie. Okay. Louise Penny, here you come. Woohoo! All right. Friends, I'll see you back tomorrow. Take care.